Good to see you too. Give me a smile, mister. Uh, sure. So what do you think these are? Well, it's not Invisalign like you were saying. No, it's exactly what it is. Is it? Absolutely. I gotta get me some of those. Yeah, I mean, you could wear plastic if you, plastic if you like. Okay, all right. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. No this worries. This is such a cool concept. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Pharrell. Hey, how you doing, man? You know what would be cool is if we told my story with Lego pieces. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Lego. Just be open. Why was Lego Animation the medium that you wanted to use to tell your life story on the big screen? Well, because, you know, I wanted my children to be able to understand it as their dad would tell it in real time. Yeah. And, you know, we know that that would work. We, well, we knew that that would work. Yes. Because, like, we've always gotten them, like, um, Lego sets since they were born. Uh -huh. They're seven now. Like, my youngest and my oldest is uh, 15. He's turning 16. You got a house full. Oh, no, no, I, I have a nation. <laughs> so, and, and and when I was a kid, I loved Lego sets. That was yeah. like my earliest childhood, like memory of like having toys. Well, of course you would put this cool spin on your story. And of course you've got so many of your industry for industry friends from JT to Jay-Z, they're chiming in on this biopic of yours. Now when they sat down for their interviews, at what point did you say, oh yeah, we're gonna give, give them the Lego treatment? No, we told them that it was gonna be an animated pic. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so they knew, kinda knew that going in, but what did they think whenever they, they, they saw the final treatment? Everyone's been just like super charged up about it, like, um, and just really excited to be a part of it. And, and listen, I'm honored because I don't really ask anything of like my friends and my peers, you know, so the one time that I asked, they, everyone obliged and you know, this all happened over the, the pandemic. This has been like five and a half years. Wow. And progress, yeah. Well, you've given us so many hints, hits, so you've given us so many slips that have chimed in on this collaborative process with your yeah. biopic. What is the one thing you hope audiences take away from this project of yours? I would say like, man, it's never too late to think about what brings you joy, uh, whether it's a person, a place, or a thing. Mm -hmm. And if, if there's a dream connected to it, like, man, build it literally piece by piece. I know that sounds like... Hokey, but it does it. Music man, brings well, you, you joy. Know, I'm a dad. I got a lot of kids. I know. I have four children, so I do a lot of dad jokes. <laughs> but I really mean it, though. We're here for him, Pharrell. Look, Adam Levine's coming back to The Voice. It's, it's been 10 years since you made your appearance oh, on The Adam's Voice. Oh, Adam's coming back? Yes, he is. So man. might we ever see you return? No. Why? But I will definitely be watching because Adam is funny. Right. Adam is so talented. And he has great taste, but he's also very funny, so I'll be watching. But man, I gotta tell you, Snoop is gonna crush it. Right? Don't Snoop, you think Snoop's gonna crush Snoop's it? He's been crushing it, for sure. But you're gonna be crushing it at the Met Gala. You're co-chairing again. This will be your sixth time on the carpet. What excites you most about this year's theme? Super fun. Really? I've been there six times? Yeah. Wow. This will be your sixth time. Okay. Tuesday. And this will be your second time co-chairing. Mm -hmm. This year's theme, super fun, tailoring black style. Yeah. Who thought it up and what excites, you, what excites you most about the theme? Well, actually what it's about, you know, that the history of like um, us coming from being captives to being captivating as a culture, as a DNA. Right here. Yeah. You already got your threads, the vibe, the, the fit coming together? Yes, ma'am. Friend, yeah. collaborator, Kendrick Lamar, he's taking on the Super Bowl halftime show. It. Crushing it. Really? He gonna crush it. You know he is. Of course. Might you pop in for a little all right? You really do your homework. Dude, I'm also, I listen to your music. No, nah, I think Kung Fu Kenny got it. If he call me, he knows Skateboard will be there. I think Jay needs to be calling you for a Super Bowl halftime performance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pharrell.